Welcome back. We're playing Stranded Alien Dawn again. There's an, an exciting new update that was just released. It addresses the vomiting issue. So hopefully it, lo it happens less often. There's some changes in the colon's behavior. But excitingly, there's, there appears to be new creatures. I played a little bit to test it out and on hard. And the first attack was way more challenging. It was a mixture of creatures which I've never seen before. So I, I don't know if I just, for some reason, haven't seen them before or if they're new. And how many others are new, I don't know. So I'm going to do another playthrough, It'll be hard difficulty. And I'm going to condense the the playthrough. So each epi episode, I'll just cut off all the, the boring parts. And it'll be a little bit of a tutorial for people I'll talk about some of the strategies I'm doing so people can new people can learn about the game as they watch the playthrough. Okay, so let's get started. So medium, I'm gonna go to hard difficulty. I'm gonna go with my the same crew as the last playthrough, but I'm gonna gonna play it a little bit differently. Ken, Katina, Laura, and Quinn. I'm gonna put Quinn more than what he's interested in, so he'll do in he'll do what research when he's not doing expeditions. And so briefly, I'm picking Penn because he has a happiness bonus. He loves expeditions. They take less time, which is great. And he's decent at construction, but he loves to do research. Laura's an amazing farmer. Movement bonus is 25%. And the manipulation efficiency. And she hurts seeds and harvest plants twice as fast. Ken's a psychopath. Gains happiness when killing or observe, observing death. And Katina can't fail a medical treatment. Gets hungry twice as slow. But overall, I just like her character. She's not... Just doesn't have an interest in healing, but she starts at six. So that's pretty good. So I'm just going to go with this. Let's see what kind of start we get. Oh, we're going to be on the plains. Looks like very fertile soil. Ooh, I like it already. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here and check things out. Okay, I don't see any berries around here. But we have silicon leaves. So we'll get the silicon for crafting electronics and CPUs. That's excellent. We have some cloth blossom, which I love right there, close by. And we got some blade grass for hay. And we have, you know, squash nearby. There's our uh, smoke leaf for making tea and pipes. There's the squash. So, so far it's not a bad start. It's the first time I haven't had tons of uh, those like blueberry type things around. Anyways, let's get started with making the camp. So, we're going to have to get... Just gonna harvest some of these. You can double click to select a whole bunch, but I don't need that much. I'm gonna get Ken immediately to scavenge. He has a bonus to scavenge in scrap metal. I believe it's twice as much. He finds twice as much scrap. And we're gonna need trees. Just gonna cut a lot of those trees down. Just get started. And for the camp, we're going to do it out of scrap metal. So you just press R to rotate. You put the walls together and the wall disappears. It's a, it's a great feature like that. Okay, I'm going to make it quite long actually. Or I'll do a couple of them. Because we're going to need to set down a stockpile. 
and we need a lot of the stuff. We need a lot of uh, space. And we'll get some storages built. Wait till we have some wood. The other thing to build immediately is your campfire. I believe it triggers as a, potentially a survivor finding you. Because they'll arrive and say, oh, I saw the smoke of, your, of the fire. So just prioritize that. Also, I'm going to have to find that corn. Oh, yeah, I don't see any corn nearby, which is interesting. I have seen it. Okay, so the grain cob is a bit of a walk. It's not too bad. It's way down there. But we need to get that observed. So Ken found rations, and that's excellent. That's why I really recommend scavenging all of these spaceship parts. You can find weapons. I think you get scrap cloth, uh, clothing like armor and things. So that's the first thing you want to do, in, in my opinion. Now these are the first attacks are quite deadly, so I need to get some wood and I'm going to get science started right away because you you really have to have uh, ranged weapons so and make sure you arm your people oh I'm starting off with well there must be a pistol here somewhere they just haven't gathered it okay so we scavenged uh, Synthetic helm, that's great. So we got some wood. Just click and drag, get that done. Oh, we got, this is great, 148 fuel. So that's a great start. Now that the shelves are built, we're going to need to start filling them up. There must be a pistol here. I'm supposed to start with a pistol. I didn't start with a pistol. So, that's the first time this happened. It said I would. So, grain cob discovered this is a very fertile land so I'm just gonna do the farming really close so I think I'll probably I'll probably build potentially down here or up here I'll just decide that later there might be a I don't know if what what place I think maybe up here I might build But anyways, I'll just do the farm right here. We're going to do a big one. We can use grain to fer ferment it, create antibiotics, beer, and it's one of our main cooking ingredients. And we want to get the campfire built right away as well. We'll just keep it up there. And I'm going to get my defenses built quickly. So I'll just go ahead and pause it here and do that. Okay, I got that all designed. There's a gate at each side. And a table with four chairs. Because that makes them happier if they can sit down and eat. And the first thing we're going to get is weaponsmithing. And it's good to build a workbench right away. Is we have to make sure we have enough bandages. So we're starting off with zero. And I don't think we have any cloth or cloth scraps. We have two helms. So I'll get those helms to, to Quinn and Ken. So it'd be good to scavenge 
all of these. So this starts great. You know, this is all walking distance. Got lots to scavenge. Gonna need a lot more wood. Cut those, and there's fallen logs you can watch for. Cut the fallen trees. I can't believe I started off without a pistol. So that might be a new bug. Uh, but you're gonna see what happens in hard mode without a pistol. Okay, so Laura's idling. So she's got that planted. Okay, another thing is to make sure you get a little shelter. I put two together and then, you know, just make some sleeping spots. I'll get Ken on that. Katina is researching Cloth Blossom, and that'll give Laura some work to do. You can use cloth in the future for uh, creating fuel. It's like, it's like cloth and oil. But hopefully you can find the technology where you can ferment insect fuel. So I'm starting off with ore prospecting. Never had this before. There are many places that you can find ore. It just takes a trained eye to spot them. So miners have an increased chance to find ore while breaking rocks. I got fuel fermentation. That's excellent. I love balloon optimization. Half the fuel. That's great. So we're going to get weaponsmithing and lightning rods. I'm going to place light lightning rods all around my base because if you get struck twice by lightning, the character will die. But even the first strike, it can severely damage them. They walk slower. It kind of ruins the character. So it's three hours, which is nothing. And then I'll probably get on to tailoring soon. But I'll harvest some grain if I can find any, which I don't think I can find much. So if I had more grain nearby, I recommend doing antibiotics. But I'll just go for this and I'll get Taylor. I don't quite need it yet, but I'm just going to get it done. Also, don't forget food. You can cook the emergency rations. Don't go overboard with it. As soon as you get other food available, set this priority to the lowest with those arrows and have something else above it. So this, is a, this one's tough because they don't have a lot to harvest. But it might be worth just coming all this way just to get that grain. And once I get unlock the grain, I think I'll unlock some of those research things like L and antibiotics. So I think it's worth the distance for that. It's good to get this research, the smoke leaf plant. So you can make some tea, which will give a happiness bonus. So that's all I can do for now. The next day they will get the base done. Now I'm going to have to figure out where I want them to attack. You have to leave a spot open. So I'm going to go with this direction. And then I'm just going to build, you know, like a little box. Just going to build a bunch of little boxes and make a tiny little maze. I like to do it two spaces wide in case the bigger animals attack. So I just do it this way. The last time I did a little maze like this, some of the bugs just went straight to the wall, straight to the wall. So I'm not sure if they've adjusted the AI. Once you get that built, you decide, you know, where do you want to put it? Put the opening here, open in there. Just keep it simple. And for your defense, use traps. It's only three scrap metal, which surprisingly 
I've gone through a lot. Like, because of all the shelters I've built. But that's fine. And maybe just put a space in between. This will just give you time to shoot at them as they go by. And as soon as I get wood, I have enough wood, I'll get the workbench done. So he wants to have it's the first camp. He wants to celebrate. Look at a happiness bonus. Always go for that. We got cooked emergency rations. I think it's a plus six benefit to happiness. So Quinn will get the wooden workbench done. Yeah, I want him to do that straight away. Okay, and then we'll start crafting. So we have no cloth at all. So hopefully we can find some scraps or whatever. Because we're going to get injured the first attack. So I'm going to let the game run a bit and I'll pause it here. And see so what we can scavenge from these uh, spaceship wrecks. Oh, one more thing too, which I got to do. You go to activities, click off simple priorities. So manage, activities, click off this. Now I've done FOD, I haven't, I haven't had to specialize yet, but right now is a great time because I want Ken to specialize on crafting. So Ken's right there. He's interested in crafting and the bonus they get is plus 18 to happiness if they're doing something they're interested in. So the priority will be two because if I select something to hunt, I want him to kill that right away. So that's his number one priority. Plus, that makes him happy. He loves killing things. And uh, Laura, of course, always but the most important to harvest. You never want to miss a harvest time. Because you'll lose that crop. And then planting will be second. I'll allow her to cut. Because she's a fast walker. She can go cut down trees or bushes. Uh, it's even fine for her to go and scavenge if she's got no work to do. And then Katina will be the number one healer. Ken's a three healing, so he's the number two guy. And then Quinn's really good at construction, but he loves researching. Now, construction's going to be the priority for now. When he can't do that, he'll do research. And I'll even allow her Katina to scavenge for now. So I think that's this is okay for now. If you go to manage, go to the schedule. This way you want to let them like I think six hours is good enough. And we have to we have to adjust this. I do two hours to relax. And then in the morning they can sleep in or do whatever. So I'll leave it like this for now, but I probably will make that a work hour as well later. Okay, I'll just let them build for a while. Okay, this is a tough build because I started off with any, without any pistol, without any cloth. I couldn't even make a bow because you need other leather or cloth. Well, I can't hunt anything without a bow. So I had to make four spears. He's only started the first one. But I just found from scavenging 264 scrap cloth. So that's a lifesaver. So I'll let Ken finish crafting that. Then I'll go to craft and I'll make cloth from scrap. And I'll set that forever. I'll, I'll prioritize that up one once he's done the spear. But then I can start crafting short bows. Because my guys are literally unarmed. No. No uh, melee weapons, no ranged. It's a really tough start not having a weapon. And I haven't scavenged it yet, but I also found a CPU, which is excellent. So there, he's got the one spear. I'm going to get the cloth going so that I can create a bow. And I'm going to need 10 cloth. So I could be attacked at any time, it's day four. I definitely want to prioritize getting a bow. 
So yeah, so these things can happen to you and you just have to figure it out. Even my scrap, it's not so great. But if I, if they do show up, I'll have to build a ton of traps. So this is a very, this is an extremely challenging start. In fact, I might just get Ken to work all night because it's that serious. And anyways, he enjoys crafting, so he gets a bonus. But I already have 10, so that was pretty quick. So I'm gonna go to weapons and I'm gonna just do four times. And I'm going to prioritize it to the top. So I will let him get some deep. He's going to go right back to crafting because it takes a while to craft a short bow. If I can get at least one of a short bow and a spear, then maybe I'll survive the first wave. I don't know. But last time I had a pistol and a bow and it didn't go well. At least now I have some bandages, so if I get injured, well, I have cloth. I still have to make bandages. So this is super challenging. Now you can use your first aid kit, which has, I'm assuming it has band-aids and antibiotics in it. Because in order to craft a first aid kit, you need cloth and antibiotics. So I'll get some of this done. Hopefully we get multiple weapons and I'll just pause it here. Okay, we got everyone equipped with a bow and the aggressive animals just showed up. And they're attacking some other animals. So one just died, there's 28. Another one died, so that's not too bad. So actually it's just one type of insect, it's the overgrown. I prioritize uh, Katina to be the chef, be the cook when she's not busy. If you need to build sticks, just go to production, you build a chopping block, that's how you do it. I build a drying rack, you know, dry the meat and the hides. So a lot of these are dying. So that's excellent. So that wouldn't have been that hard even if, so, so you press control R and it automatically drafts all your people. And I'm going to move them up here because the bugs are always going to go for your people. And we do have first aid kits. Doesn't take too long to make bandages. So I don't want them attacking the walls, but I do want to shoot them as soon as possible. Okay, so they're attacking the walls. Let's go over here. So that guy's just going to keep attacking. So don't get too close to the walls. It's okay for this wall though. He's almost through. See, we'll make an elevated platform next time. Just want to free up Ken. And then we'll get these guys. So this is just a minor injury. Only Ken's got an injury so far. So we're going to be okay. He's bleeding a little bit. OK, 
Okay, so they're all fine. Let's look at the damage. Superficial bite, bitten off flesh. Should be a full recovery. He'll go await treatment. And the good thing is that Katina seems fine. We're going to prioritize Ken being treated first. You have to wait till he lies down first. Like the animation has to finish first. So we'll go heal him. And he'll be fine. And they'll automatically repair that damaged fence piece. So yeah, I made a mistake there by going too close to the fence. So you want to get people as close to the opening. So the next research to get the raised wooden platforms, we're going to need construction basics. It takes a day, but it's a huge help because right now we can't shoot them when they're behind the fence because we're at ground level. With that raised floor, we'll be able to target them. Your actual range will expand and you can target over the fence. And I got the lightning rods built because I really don't want to get struck by lightning. And you can see, uh, made sure every area was covered just around here. And if it's a lightning storm, I'm going to have to remember to you know, bring everyone back or at least cancel these type of tasks. Uh, it's been a very challenging playthrough so far. So I'll just play a little bit more and then I'll, I'll pause it for now and then I'll unpause it when something interesting happens. Oh yeah, the other thing too is don't forget to butcher these guys because uh, it's late spring and they don't last too long. And they would be a great source for a different meal. So I'm actually going to prioritize Ken to butcher that. And I will get... I won't butcher that one, but I'll get Ken to observe it. I don't fully know the benefits of, of observing. But it'll tell you exactly well how much meat do these can you harvest from these creatures and things like that. So to get this harvested, it'll be some food we can eat. I'll go ahead and do this now. But if you don't want your people eating raw food, you just click on restrictions and you can see like what types of raw food. So I'm just gonna say all of it, don't eat. Because we have plenty of emergency rations got four cooked and, and 29 uncooked and with this meat we'll start making like you know meat stew and stuff so for every one i'll just uncheck raw food there's no benefit from eating raw food except you don't starve to death there's no happiness benefit okay i'll let it play for a bit yeah so a thunderstorm just started so Katina was way down there scavenging, so I canceled that. And they should all be safe now. Just want to double check. Yeah, they'll all be protected. Now, one thing to build too is you go to furniture and a shooting target. Helps them to relax, raise their happiness. You need some hay and some wood to do that. So we're getting to the 30 minute mark. So these are going to be roughly 30 minutes in length, these videos. And I'm going to keep playing through, but it's going to be more a condensed version. Let me know how you feel about that, if it's better. And if you have enjoyed the videos, please leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And thank you for all the comments. I read them all. And we'll see you on the next episode.